Quite weedy, I have to say. It took me about 15 minutes to get the weed off the anchor, but other than that, it was great. I would not want to be there in bad weather. No, it would be quite scary, wouldn't it? I think we're parked in part of Hornaray Sound. Yeah, the west end of it, I suppose. Yeah. Underneath a mountain called Eva. Yeah. That bit I'm sure of. Yeah. I think that I'm looking towards the island of Ronne, and we're somewhere between Ronne and Ronne Beg and yeah. Grimsay. But beyond that, it's a bit of a challenge to navigate. It's a maze of islands and little so I where like do you think this. we're heading today through this labyrinth of water? I along. think we're trying to find somewhere called Callin on the vague hope that there might be some seafood for sale. And then we're going to try and find an Iron Age roundhouse on Grimsay. And then we're just going to poodle about and probably save up walking up Eval that's behind you uh, for another day. Yeah, I quite fancy perhaps that tomorrow. In answer to your earlier question, I think this is Grimsay.
Sunday night. It was fun. Nothing happening at all. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't miss out by not coming early on the grounds that the cafe's been shut all day. Right. Home, James. And don't spare the horses. She looks happy enough there, doesn't she? Well, what did you think of that little trip then? Brilliant. It is a kayaking paradise. Good, isn't it? Yeah, just hundreds of little lockens in every direction and a great big maze or labyrinth of them. If you ever got tired of that, you could hoist the boat a few yards into a freshwater labyrinth of lockens. Yeah, it wouldn't take much to get through to the west coast, would it? Well, that's an interesting challenge you've just set down. Well, I fancy the idea of that. Well, it's always tomorrow. <laughs> I want to go up there tomorrow, up evil. Uh, well, if it's not too windy, it's a good idea. Sound. Right. We're just kayaking away from Spearax, who hopefully is still anchored behind us. And does that answer question number one? That answers number question one. Where are we going? Well, I think we're going to Eagle Pool, uh, which is at the foot of the mountain called Eval. Eagle Pool? Eagle Pool. Alright. That's another anchorage, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, a bit of a a tight um, entrance channel, you have to do a, a bit of a, a, a right hand bend through a very shoal bit with some rocks so we thought we'd try it out by kayak yeah. and yeah see what it's like because we're at low water so we should get a real good view of it Yeah. and then if we like it then you never know we might be able to take Spearax there yeah some of the time would be great to come back yeah. there seems to be limitless number of anchorages around here yeah cool isn't it? There's lots of it's not surveyed yet. I hope Bob Bradfield will come back and do some more surveying around here because it's uh, it, uh, for kayaking and dinghy and particularly it's excellent. Certainly is. But I reckon there's some more anchoring opportunities around here near uh, near Ronnie in the lagoon. I'd like to go up Ronnie. Yeah yeah over there isn't it? Yeah 134 metres I think it is. I don't know whether we'll get up Evil today because it's looking a bit 
the weather's looking a bit evil. Yeah, but um, can you just see the top? It's a thousand and odd foot, isn't it? 347 metres, I think it is. I think we're going to see the little village of Eval on the nose. And what can you see? Well, it depends when you ask me. Right now, bugger all. But give it five seconds and I might see a billion and one little locking. Your carriage awaits. It's almost like it's a harbour frontage, it's definitely hand worked, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder how many people lived in the village of Eval. Yeah, there's a path here through it, definitely. It mm. goes underwater. And it connects up with one on the other on the island next to it. Mm. And then off to the left there's some sort of jetty. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that was for loading up or or mm. it kind of implies given that it's more just after high water, although it's not high water spring, kind of implies a big a biggish boat, doesn't it? To warrant having to take things over the side. Yeah. Trade rope there. 
I wonder if this wall would have continued or when it's just crumbled. Yeah, it looks like it continued here. Oh, and, and this was the breakwater, wasn't it? The, the little landing slip with the, the old boat. There's a wreck there. Oh, wow. The wreck of a boat. I wonder what sort of a boat it was. About 25, 30 foot wooden boat. Yeah. Yeah, probably associated with this place. Mm. And this must be coming round to the cottage itself. Yeah, it looks like there might have been a few small buildings at Eval. Obviously, had two chimneys there, didn't it? Oh, and another another kind of landing stage jetty there. Yeah. That was lovely, I like that. Yeah. Let's find out a little bit more about the history of Evo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah, I wonder what Evo means. Good question. But it's mm -hmm. the name of the mountain, it's also the name of the settlement. Still there. This is a black house, isn't it? Mm. Rounded yeah, gables. yeah, that ra rounded curved corners and then the central single entrance. What it must have been like to live there. I imagine that must be the window, the entrance must be round either side. Oh yeah, that makes sense, yeah. yeah a thatched roof down to that level. Yeah. James. 